Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is you're defending your inheritance. You are defending your inheritance. And I've got several scriptures uh, references today. The first one is Proverbs 13, 22, and it reads, Good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth passes to the godly. And the second reference is Colossians 1.12, and it reads, Always thanking the Father, he has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. And the next verse, Isaiah, Isaiah 61.7 reads, Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. <clears throat> they shall have everlasting joy. And then the last reference is Galatians 3.29, and it reads, And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs, and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. And of course, we know in that reference, <clears throat> it's referring to the Abraham covenant. And many of you have entered into the Abraham covenant and you have completely submitted yourself to the Lord and you're pursuing holiness and righteousness. You've repented of all of the sin, sin cycles in your life. You've allowed Jesus Christ to come in and deliver you uh, from various sin cycles in your life. And... You have an inheritance, as these scriptures refer to, you have an inheritance as a child of God, and the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and he is going to throw everything at you to try to steal your inheritance from you. He doesn't want you walking in covenant with the Lord. He, when you are in Abraham covenant with the Lord, he can no longer use you for his agenda on this earth, and you are a child of the light, as it says here in verse uh in Colossians 1.12, he has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. And we know inheritance means a lot of things. It's not only, um, you know, a financial inheritance on this earth. It's also a inheritance in the kingdom of God in the in the life after this one. It's also spiritual gifts. And many of you uh, the Lord has been manifesting himself to you. You know, it says in the book of John that, um, you know, those who love him and follow his uh, commandments, he will manifest to them. It's either John 14, 15, or 16. But I know the Lord says he will reveal his secrets to his children. And to many of you, um, he has been doing this. And you, he's given you divine instructions in your life. And he's leading you into your inheritance. So you need to listen to these instructions. Don't let anything stand in your way of what the Lord has promised to you. You need to clamp down like a pit bull on that promise and don't let go. You know, and um, you have to be tenacious because the enemy is going to throw his fiery darts at you. He's going to come at you from every direction to try to drain your energy, to try to steal your joy. When he can't work through other people around you, he will look for any way to steal your joy. And you just need to rebuke any thoughts that come in your mind that you know are coming from the enemy. You need to bind the spirit of confusion, bind the spirit of rejection, the spirit of abandonment, and cast those into the abyss. Because we know we do not battle against flesh and blood, but we battle against principalities and high places. This it says here in Ephesians uh, 6, 11 and 12, put on the full, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. So you need to clamp down on your inheritance and don't let it go. The enemy's been caught. He must repay you. And 
you are in Abraham covenant and the Lord has an inheritance for you, not only on this earth, but in the next as well. And you just need to continue to follow his divine instructions for your life. Continue to walk in relationship with Jesus Christ. And you do that by uh, getting in prayer daily, spending time in the word of God and getting to know your father. You know, you think about a friendship. How do you um, develop a bond with that person. It's by spending time with them. So you need to spend time with your father. He wants to spend time with you. He wants you to come to him, not only in the bad times, you know, when you need something. He wants to share in your good gifts as well and the good gifts he gives you in the good times. So just remember as well, as many of you walk into your inheritance, as the Lord begins to really bless your lives, don't ever forget um, that you need to maintain that relationship with him maintain that you know that friendship it says in the book of john that he calls those who love him and obey his commandments he calls you a friend and so you need to um nurture that relationship as you walk into your destiny as the lord continues to give you good gifts as you begin collecting on that inheritance you know you need to stay in that daily relationship with the lord don't forget where you came from. Don't forget, you know, um, all of the difficult times that the Lord brought you through, that he was always there for you and his promise still stands. And he is a faithful God. As it says in the book of Numbers, he is not a man that he should lie. I believe it's uh, Numbers 23, uh, chapter 23. Uh, so clamp onto your inheritance. Don't let the enemy steal it. You know, the Lord wrote a book about you in Psalm 139, it talks about this and he wants you to live out the pages of that book in his divine perfect will. And that includes you collecting on the inheritance that the Lord has set aside for you as part of the Abraham covenant. You can read more about the Abraham covenant in the book of Genesis and uh, just continue on, you know, walking in step with the Lord and he will not lead you down the wrong path. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. Uh, the Lord told me yesterday that he didn't want me to release any messages. So I did have a day of rest and, um, but we're back at it today with a full slate. So, uh, when the Lord tells me to take a day off, I listen, I follow his divine direction and, uh, I know he's got a greater purpose and I'm excited and looking forward to see what he has go moving in your life because I know many of you are on that path and he's doing amazing things in your life and he's going to continue to do that so again I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family please click the notification bell so that you receive these messages as they're put out all of you who've sewn into this ministry who've partnered with this ministry in the Dominican Republic I pray over every seed that the Lord will increase it a thousandfold. And just know that through partnering uh, with me financially, you're also supporting what the Lord is doing here in the Dominican Republic. I've got some missions opportunities coming up in the coming year with my old church in Las Vegas. And the, every day the Lord is opening new doors for me here in this country to really just be a vessel for him and do his work on this earth. So again, I pray for you all every day. I pray that the right people receive these messages. I pray that the Lord goes before you and that he follows behind you. And I really love each and every one of you with the love of Christ. Stay blessed.